Uh, Lesotho Wild Run uh, was conceived on the on the back of the idea that uh, we want to take people to explore uh, wilderness areas um, that are um, remote and uh, and the Lesotho has that element completely. And the fact that there hasn't been a, a you know multi-day race in Lesotho on foot, and and the fact that Lesotho is a is so suitable to running. I think when I saw the Lesotho or saw the first ad for Lesotho Wild Run, um, it definitely there was something about remoteness, uh, being in the mountains, a journey. It wasn't going to be a, a normal trail run or a normal race. Um, and I think they've done that. Uh, I knew it was going to be beautiful. Um, I knew it was going to be tough because uh, there are not too many flat bits in the C2. Um, but I think, yeah, I knew it was going to be absolutely stunning. For me, I wanted. To, I came for the adventure. Uh, adventure in Lesotho and the waterfall sold me. The waterfall made me do it and that was the only reason I decided I decided this is a great place to come and I want to see those falls and if I have to run to see them and I'll do that. I was lucky in that I was always with a group but even so you've realized that you are completely remote in the middle of nowhere in terms of the solitude, that's one of the reasons I like to run is because there's great solitude. And even in a group where we're running after each other, um, you've got a real sense of Lesotho and its remoteness. Incredible. Feels like you're the only person alive. Um, and it's almost like even if you were running in a group, everyone kind of felt it too. Everyone just was quiet. There's no noise, um, maybe a few cows and sheep and goats and locals but other than that just it, it really does feel like you the only person on earth. I mean we've, we've traveled quite extensively uh, overseas and and at times I felt we were yeah sort of in parts of Nepal or parts of yeah, sort of Peru and incredibly remote seeing seeing women carrying sort of bundles of sticks on their heads and uh, yeah I mean it's, it's, uh, not a vehicle within 50 kilometers. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredibly sort of tough, <laughs> sort of wild terrain. And, and uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I've probably uh, done about 40 or 50 marathons and maybe 30 ultras and this is the toughest thing I've ever done. The scenery makes up for it uh, and you have to get out there to experience it. So. It was no doubt extremely hard. The days were, were very long and hard. Day one was probably the hardest. Uh, but it was fantastic. Every moment was worth it. Well, I think I've been fairly blown away by the holes here. They, you know, they're not for sissies, these holes. This is, you know, this is some really big mountains here. If it wasn't for the rivers, we'd have been in a world of trouble with water. Um, 
and you know when the guys were being motorbiked in 12 13 hours later it was uh, it was a big shock i think to a lot of guys so i think it's good though it makes you uh, it's the, some of the beauty of doing these events it makes you think and plan and uh, and if you like that kind of stuff it's it makes it a lot more fun the attitude of the Lesotho people are brilliant. Um, they're so friendly everywhere. Everyone waves and wants to know <laughs> what are you doing in the mountains. Or we had a guy today ask us, um, what are you looking for in the mountains? Or where, where's your car? Did it break down? Um, so they can't understand what we're doing. Um, on day one, the, the guys in the remote areas, when they ask us where you come from, they laugh at us when you tell us the routes that we're taking. So even for them it's extreme. I came here expecting the mountains obviously, um, but the thing that I've come back most with um, is the, the people. Um, you know, I've never seen people live so close to the land. Um, and everywhere, everyone we came across has been so helpful. We got guided by a 10-year-old for about 45 minutes away from his, his cattle to get us back on the right track. Um, and that was just typical of the whole experience. I came across a bunch of local guys high up. I was far too high, needed to drop down. And they pointed out the path to me, and which I said thank you and carried on down. And he obviously realized that I was clueless, <laughs> didn't know where I was going. And he ran from the top of this high, high mountain in his gumboots all the way down, grabbed my arm and said, no, you've got to go this way. And like ran with me for the next two kilometers in his gumboots away from all his sheep and goats at the top of the mountain until I hooked up with the next group further down. And I mean, it's just been like that on every day. What struck me the most was, was the people of Lesotho. Yeah, like uh, it's just, it's quite humbling. And we did the, the shoe drop for Bob's for Good yesterday. And that was quite a humbling experience. You know, there, there's little kids when they say their prayers at night, uh, a good portion of them prayed for shoes. And there we were at a school giving them shoes you know, many had never owned. So I, I think the, the uh, quite, quite humbling seeing, seeing how the communities live and also just how, what a peaceful nation they are. Day two was beautiful. Day two was just, it was great weather. Um, it was a shorter distance. We saw the falls. So that was the easy day in between and I really enjoyed that. You get to see that gorge for almost the whole run, the whole day. The whole of day two, you're just seeing the most incredible views. And you just, I think for me, the best part was running along the ridge with this gorge on your right and then a few hours later we were standing the same height looking at the gorge from the other side and knowing that that morning we were we had done this for it was just mind-blowing it was incredible day two was probably one of the best days of trail running i've, I've ever done um we ran through a large number of communities I mean that's uh, incredibly, incredibly special, and those those views of the of the gorge were quite spectacular. And I don't think there's a better way to see to see remote parts of the country than doing an event like this. The collective hardships and suffering pull you through together. And whenever somebody was flailing, there'd be somebody else up front saying, "Hey, let's start a little trot and go up this hill." And the people here. I didn't get the sense that anybody came to win and to do this and to be competitive. Everybody's just having a good time and everybody's just out there to have a, a great run. I think something that was quite interesting on this run was the navigation. Because it wasn't just run. You, know, you, you couldn't just run a route or the, the route wasn't marked. So we just found ourselves every day getting into a group of guys and the guys pulled together as a team. You know, one guy was good at map reading, the other guy might be better with a Garmin. 
and the guys pulled together because you had to work hard. The, the navigation is a very, very big element on this on this run. If you got, you know, if you you ran five minutes down a wrong you know, wrong direction, you, you really paid for it in time. So, yeah, I think that that built a lot of camaraderie, which was which was nice. The Sutu Wild Run um, has, uh, has an incredible emotional element to, to the journey that, you, that, you take, that takes place. You know, the day one is, is, is very tough and, and uh, then you're up to a plateau. Day two is um, an, a, a nice journey, 28k journey through around the gorge and that really is inspirational. And then day three is, a, is, a, is an awesome run back to, to Rambanta. And the whole the, the element of it is that it's, it is very tough, but the fact that you've been pushing yourself over three days and, and it's been incredibly tough, but you come up to the finish uh, of the Lesotho Water and it's, and it's incredibly emotional and uh, rejuvenating. You, you get to the finish and it, it really um, it makes an impact on your life without a doubt. And it makes an impact on the crew, it makes an impact on the, on the, the guys, everyone who's taking part. And uh, the relationship that builds with that is something that you, you, know, you, you don't, you won't get anywhere else. It's uh, through those hard times, but also you know, the relationship and the fact that you're sharing with everyone is, uh, makes for a truly remarkable journey.